done the look of John Galliano, very inspired by the muse Mary Ellen who was painted by so many paintings, lots of Modigliani, lots of colour, um, yes, a lot of expression. Makeup. Um, the inspiration for this makeup is Maria Lani. It was a model and actress. She would ask different artists to draw her. And then two years after, uh, she left and she sell all the art. And apparently she wasn't an actress at all. That was an inspiration for our makeup. <laughs> It's like 1930s, I guess, with my own eyebrows on the knee, so a mix of me and 1930s. <laughs> the smoky eyes, the beautiful stained lip, it's very mysterious. A little bit, it'll be a little bit ghostly, I think. Once we're done, we've added the finishing touches. Create each personality, you know, each personage, three teams. Each time it's like a portrait of a girl, you know, like painting with the prism by Modigliani, or like a muse of Man Ray or everything. show. Incredible. This show is going to be gorgeous. The whole concept of the collection of the spirit of the show is about the muse and um, to open it is beyond an honor. My muse is my muse. I was inspired by Modigliani first of all. Great artist and the relationship with Gian Abutin and the way he portrayed this fabulous woman, tortured soul, romantic, poetic. It's like an art piece, over the top, glamour, period retro. It's a dream show for me. Like, I'm so happy to be here and I'm so honored to be doing this show. And then this fantastic character that I had discovered called Maria Lani, who came to Paris in the 1920s, recreated herself as Russian aristocracy and seduced many, many artists of that period. It 
was amazing. Actually, I just come back from Los Angeles and it's the first show I'm seeing and it was so wonderful and such a culture shock. Already the place, it's amazing and the show was just unbelievable. And I loved the hats and I loved also the little, you know, the girl carrying the suitcase with all the clothes coming out. It's a bit like me. No, <laughs> no, it's unbelievable, really wonderful. I love my look, that's why I'm here. You know, I don't do shows a lot anymore, but I wanted to come here, like, because I love the feeling of Galliano, you know, like, well, the clothes, is like, the, forget it, it's like, magical to be here and like the Opera Comique in Paris. The setting is like, wow. But Galliano, you know, is a dear uh, person to me. Like, you know, he was there at the beginning of my career. And I think that's one of the reasons that most of us are here. You know, he uh, told to us yesterday on the, on the fitting that he uh, booked all the girls that really helped him shape his career. So we were, I feel very honored to be here today. I got lost in the story and I, I loved the glamour. I mean, this is what I come to fashion shows for, is to be inspired and to see extravagance and opulence and, you know, never, John never disappoints. It's a gorgeous venue. I've never been here before, so it's very exciting. My look is inspired by almost a sailor sort of lady. I have a, a nice white button-up coat with the navy sailor little outfit with a red collar. Galleon is always different every season, but you, it's always extreme, so you're going to expect a lot. And it's always an exciting show to do. Amazing hat as always, uh, wearing hat and uh, really nice, very colorful skirt and uh, blouse, blues uh, with some butterflies. Very beautiful. I feel amazing as always. <laughs> I love Galliano. <laughs> wow. From Carly Klaus to Yasmin Leblanc my muses, they're all the women that have made me the man I am today. You know, it's hours of working with these women. Um, their creative contribution, inspiration, I dream of these girls. Positive. I love colorful clothes. It's uh, theatrical, so you feel we, we get a little like booklet to read about the story that it was about. So you feel you're like going to play a little theater or movie. So you you really get into a character, which is more more fun for ones than like walking like a normal runway. silhouette that I've done, um, very beautiful, some embroidered, super light embroidery, but with this vague, which was um, incredibly feminine and just trembled on the girls' walls, very beautiful. Uh, 
I've been working with John for many years. I did his first proper show in London. For me today, it's quite special because he's gone back to his roots, to what he really loves, to sh the way he loves to show his clothes, with lots of poetry. The great thing about a hat, it doesn't need to be a boil wash, you know? You can use anything you want. You can use paper, but actually, this season we used really beautiful fabrics um, because there was really a sense of like the 1920s and 1930s that John wanted to capture. I'm wearing a very beautiful dress, obviously. It's beautiful, it's this chiffon, uh, white chiffon with black chantilly lace arms and crustaceans of butterflies, totally see-through. It was like it's blown together by the gods and just fell on you. It's, that's how light and exquisite this dress is. There's nobody like John. I mean, he really believes in it. He's a fantastic romantic designer and, you know, he really loves it.